guys and gals, vapers and vapettes, and the entire YouTube universe. I am Vaping Vigilante. Thank you for joining me this morning or this afternoon or whenever you watch this video. Alright, this morning I want to bring something to you that is uh, pretty special. I know I say special about a lot of stuff, but this one is. Um, this large copper phallic device that I am uh, holding in my hands right here is the stack mod and the dripper by Scotua okay now this particular device is not mine it is on loan to me from JT Moore shout out to JT Moore um, got into contact with him uh, through some of the groups I'm on in Facebook and got to talking he came up to the shop one day we talked for a while we had, we had seen each other before and um, he brought this up this is his to uh, let me borrow it use it for a while and then uh, do a little review to give my uh, my thoughts on it and uh, to show uh, people out there because there's not a whole bunch of these running around now these are made by a uh, gentleman uh, named Scott Carson now um, the the copper mod okay now what this is is this is a stacked 26650 mod okay now what that means is that I have two 26650 batteries in here running in series up to this big lovely dripper now the mod itself is very simplistic the uh, way that it functions is outstanding as I keep finding with simplicity um, no magnets just a very very nice spring in the bottom and you just push it up and boom she starts to fire now the dripper although the the mod I really like because I'm a big fan of 26650 um, and I'm a fan of series as you may know from some of my previous videos the dripper on top is kind of the star of the show here in my opinion this is the co-star this is the main actor okay uh, because the way that this Addy performs is outstanding I love it to hell I told JT I said I gotta find a way to try to get that dripper off of you but uh, I know that I I can't do that um, unless he just loses his mind a little bit and decides to uh, let me take a crack at it but um, now let me show you what you got up here that's the top of this dripper okay as you can see gigantic posts now I have this built and all that but you can tell that there's quite a juice well in there these posts these negative posts are milled directly into the deck this center copper uh, dual po okay, T post is the holes in these poles are easily accommodate 16 gauge wire Okay, actually I put some 16 gauge wire in there and there was room to move around. So you would probably be able to easily get two pieces of 16 gauge in there if you want to. Gigantic screws on top which hold the wire very, very well. Once snug down, they don't tend to really back off. That center T-post is inside a peak insulating material that is down into the deck which contains underneath this eddy is more peak insulating material. And this particular, the way that this dripper is designed, is it can function multiple ways. One, it can hybrid directly onto the stack, which it is right now. It screws directly on to the stack, and boom, she goes. Now, like I said, this is series. As you can see, <laughs> my old friend series. Now, now I want to make sure that this thing is good and uh, juiced up, overly juiced if I could. I'm vaping on some uh, Victoria from Pinup Girls and uh, I really really like their juice. Now I'll show you more of this when we get down and uh, look at it a little bit closer but uh, it comes with two different caps. It comes with this and I must say very mus Mutation X style type cap you know and this thing gets in there tough and this is your mouthpiece and as you can see 
it's got some staggered airflow options there where you can kind of start closing down these uh, air holes gradually or you can leave them wide open. I basically run it kind of like I run my Mutation X, about halfway closed off or so. Okay, I'm going to pop that back on there. Let's give it a vape. Okay, too much. Let me turn this airflow down a little bit more. Uh, come on. Sometimes this cap does come out very easily, and other times it's a little bit stubborn. But um, it came with two O-rings. I took one of the O-rings off. Me and uh, me and JT were talking up there at the shop and stuff, and I'm like, you know, I think that maybe taking one of these O-rings might help it adjust a little bit easier. But it seems to be temperamental at times where it just likes to kind of lock itself down. Now, I have noticed that when you're using this regularly, uh, the cap seems to... Um, either contract a little bit, I guess, and it makes it easier to move that when it kind of sets for a minute or so or a day, then it likes to get tough on there. Let's try that again real quick. The airflow is great on this atomizer. Um, the uh, I haven't played with the other cap as much now as you can see this is copper now he had this thing sparkling shiny when it came to me but of course my big grubby hands have been have been stroking it ever so lovingly and um, it has tarnished as copper will do okay get over it copper tarnishes that's what you're getting okay but um, it's got Pretty nice patina on there. I kind of like it like that. kind of looks used, you know, which it is. But um, it vapes fantastically. The button is smooth. It's It's got some, got some butt to it, but there's a very short throw. Um, the button is very simple. I'll show you a little bit more in the up close. Let me get a little bit more vapor right quick. Yeah, yeah, she rocks. She rocks all night long. And um, it has been a very, very pleasurable experience using this mod. Um, we'll get to some of the more details later on. Um, like I said, it's very simplistic, but my, I really think that this is the, uh, this is the main actor, okay? I really think that that is the main actor, you know. Um, if I had to compare them, I'd be like, you know, you got a Brad Pitt and you got a George Clooney or you got a George Clooney and a Brad Pitt or something like that. But I believe that the Admiser is the star of the show here. Now, like I said, that's nothing taken, just, you know, taken away from the mod itself. It performs excellently. But um, let's, uh, let's go ahead and go down. Let's take this apart right quick and uh, look at some, shall we? All right, folks, and now we're down a little bit up close with this lovely, big, beautiful behemoth piece of copper, okay? Now, let's go ahead and screw our Addy off. Do that on camera, that might help. Screw our Addy off. And as you can see there, see, she hybrids directly to the mod, okay? Sorry about that, got the hiccups right quick. I'm going to set that right here for a second, and I'm going to show you that here. Now, as you can see, two stacked 26650s. Now, what I'm using, and I am using the uh, m and -E IMR 26650s, okay? Like I always stress, you use good batteries. I have used these batteries in... Um, Every series device that I own, my BC26650 series box, my Congestus, um, and other 26650 devices that I have. I love these batteries. They have never failed me. Are there better ones out there? Well, I'm sure. There's probably a myriad of opinion about batteries, but I really like these MNKEs. And I have others, but let's set those right, right off to the side here. Okay, and let's look at this. Now, this is a big 
big piece of copper. As you can see down in there, you have your firing contact down there. You got four little holes there to vent for battery venting. You have some very, very nicely done threads on this. They don't squeak, they don't squeal, nothing like that. Okay, and the cylinder is smooth. It has a very smooth finish. Okay, as you can see, it's all patinaed up and all that. Now down here, we get down to your firing button there. And as you can see, it's the stacked number 51 by Scotua. Now you see that little locking ring right there. Now I'm not going to take that apart uh, just because I don't want to do it much because this is not mine. But we did take it apart when I was with JT and it's not hard to disassemble. All you do is you push your button down like that. You take a little screwdriver and you kind of pry up right there on that edge of that snap ring and then it just peels, it just rotates out and you can take the button out. Now inside the button it's just copper and there's a copper spring inside there and that's it. But it's got a very nice smooth throw to it, as you can hear. It does have some, it does have some, uh, some hefty weight to it. Okay, it is a very, very nice button. Okay, so there is your stacked. Okay, now let me set that right off to the side here, and let's go down to kind of like what I said is the star of the show. Let me let me adjust this up a little bit. Okay, now right here now this is in its hybrid form okay as you can see this little button right here is the copper contact that is used while it is in uh, hybrid form big fat copper connection that I will unscrew now okay and that's it there it is that is the nice big fat piece of copper that makes contact when it's in hybrid form with your battery okay and battery rattle is very easy to adjust in this all you do is back this off for a little bit or down some and then screw on the uh, top of the Addy and then boom your battery rattles taken care of okay so I'm gonna set this right back here now this comes this Addy comes with a bunch of stuff okay it comes with this little guy right here you see this well let's actually let's take a look here see that that's peak insulator right there. Now you can use a pair of tweezers and you can screw this out. This will come out and then you will be able to lift that center post off there. Now I guess I should have, let me uh, use the mod right quick and go ahead and decap this because it's on there tough. There you go. There's your cap like I showed you, Mutation X style. Okay, I, I call it that and I guess that's I guess if something comes out like that, that's what you got to call it. Okay, so let me screw this back off now. Okay, and let's see if we can get a little bit up close. Now, there's the, as you can kind of see in there, you've got a very healthy, big, thick block T-post there of copper that uh, is making your kind. It's got a simple dual coil build on there, okay? And uh, I have it set up to be running about, uh, I think it's at about a 0.35. That's kind of where I like to go on my dual series, or my, uh, you know, just eight, 8 volts, basically. You can tell that that is, those screws are very thick. Okay, they're very big. They tighten down very nice. They hold the wire very nice. This is 22 gauge wire. Okay, now when you take that peak insulator out okay then you're able to just lift this t-post out okay and then it is embedded in more peak insulating material that fits in down here okay this doesn't turn all right very nice it does not turn okay so you can run it like this or you take this little piece of peak insulating material and you pop it right in like that just pop it in right there in the center. You take this, this is your 510 adapter, okay? And you screw this on just like this. I'm trying to do this, okay? You screw it on just like this. Screw it all the way up. And then you have this little copper screw right here. And you just screw that in right there and adjusting that up and down can take for battery rattle or whatever or adjust to your pin if you're putting it in some other kind of mod or whatever and boom now she's in normal 510 
and it works great. I've used it on my BC Box Mod 26650 series box and it performs fantastically. Okay, so that's what you do when you're running it on non-hybrid form when you're running it on something other than the stacked. So we just screw this back off. Okay, there we go. Set that back down here. Now you get a bag with all kinds of extra parts you get um, this is actually uh, this adapter right here goes onto this other cap that I'm about to show you and this is the other cap that it comes with now I know it's got some patina on there because it uh, I guess it had some juice on it and when I put it up or whatever but you can run this cap in either single coil or dual coil and you get these big square okay uh, style of oh, sorry about that get these big square airflow slots let me adjust this right quick see this is all this stuff is all tight okay this is not flimsy in the least so let me see if I can get that pushed out there there we go now I'm going to open this up to dual coil mode snap it back in there like that and boom now she is in dual coil as you can see boom see all the way through hello well, let's see if I can do that on camera there you go see now you're in dual coil. This is the other cap that comes with this dripper. Now he brought along this uh, just chuff style cap that fits in here nicely and I'm sure other chuff style caps will fit just fine as well. Okay, And that's the way we're running. I think I'm going to take that back out and I'm going to run it like that and see what that airflow is like. And then that just clips right down on there and boom. Now you have a different cap. That dripper comes with all this. Okay. Now, one other piece I want to show you right quick is this. Now, this goes on the stacked as well. This converts it from a hybrid. If you're running, if you want to run something other than the dripper on there, you get this as well with the stacked, and this turns it into a regular uh, style of floating 510 connection. Actually, I don't think. Yeah, that does float. Yeah, it floats up and down. And then you have. Um, I'm sorry. Yes, it does. Yeah. And then you have this little guy here the the old two the two screw type you know you screw that up to your addy and then you screw that out to take up for battery rattle not too bad it doesn't take too much fiddling or whatever to get it kind of dialed in and you get you get better and better at it as you get some practice with it okay so there is a as you can see there's a lot that comes with this whole setup so with that I'm going to pull that back out and I'm going to put this back in because, of course, I'm hybriding it back on to the stacked. And I pretty much know that about, let's see, right about there is about where I have to adjust that in order to take up for battery rattle. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and use this cap for the second half here. So let's go ahead and uh, back out on it and take some vape off of it. All right, now we're back up. Uh, damn, got some juice in my mouth. Now, as you can see, I'm running it with that other cap that I showed you there. I've got the airflow all the way open, but you can you can dial this in and you can turn that and you can adjust your airflow however you want. But uh, I'm I'm leaving it just wide open for now. But uh, let's get some more vapor off of it. Real quick. Actually, let's make sure that I'm juiced up. Okay, I've almost gone through this whole bottle. I just got it yesterday. Victoria is really nice. All right. Now, the other funny thing about the uh, Pinup Girls line, I, I like a lot of their juices. And actually, I like all their juices. Um, if you take Victoria, Sophia, and Betty, and you mix the three together, get, get three 30 mils mixed together, get 90 mils of juice. Man, we, we kind of call it the... Uh, the menage a trois up at work or whatever because uh, you get three girls into a bed of cotton uh, to quote my buddy Brent up there it is uh, fantastic the flavor is just phenomenal it's almost it's like I like call it like ambrosia or something like that but um, individually they're all good on their own too so let's get a little bit more vapor right there. Mm. Man, she performs wonderfully. Yeah, 
fantastic. Now this cap is not as tight as that other one, um, but uh, they both work fantastically. The airflow is different on both. Um, the uh, I kind I mean I actually I like the airflow on this one. I would probably probably tighten it down a little bit um, if I was going to be vaping on it for a while. Maybe maybe uh, a quarter off of each one of these or whatever. Um, I like a little bit of restriction, not not wide open, but uh, they both they both perform excellently. Um, I personally kind of I guess I kind of prefer the other cap or whatever, but you know personal preference you know but I kind of like that one too that that just it looks really nice on there as it should okay nice big square airflow yeah she chucks but that's kind of what you get when you're when you're talking about series um, the the whole mod is excellent i really 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 love the dripper um now going on to that right now if you go on skatua's website um the copper stacked is i guess you could say discontinued um he is not currently making them not to say that he would not be inclined to make them again if there was enough interest in it um, the dripper is still in production. He's showing out of stock right now on his website. Uh, I, that was a, as of a couple of days ago. Um, the dripper, he has a he has the big 26650 version like this, and then he has a 22 millimeter version. Okay, um, the 22 millimeter version is um, just a three post, but a lot of the innovation and everything is still there. Okay, the way that these Addies are built, these damn things are. Pretty much, um, one of the owners up at Juicy Vapes, uh, Larry, has wanted one of these for a while, okay? Has saw them a while back and has wanted one, and he kind of made the comment the other day that, I mean, it, you, it's built like a tank, okay? It's, it's engineering is excellent, all the peak insulating material, the way that you can disassemble the, the uh, atomizer with the, taking the center post out and all that kind of stuff is excellent. Um... It, it would probably be a one of those addies that would never go wrong unless you just screw it up but it would be one of those that you just you, you you'd have to try to break it okay um, I, I can't really tell you how significant and how well made this addy is and that's really what I love about it um, it is fantastic I would love to get my hands on one um, but like I said right now he's currently showing out of stock now JT has uh, assured me and because he he has conversed with uh, with the maker of these devices um, several times, I believe, and uh, that he always replenishes his stock. But he's you know he's 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 kind of a you know a, a one man show of sorts. He, you know he's making this stuff the way he, he uh, as fast as he can and maintaining his quality and all that. Um, the let's get to the um, the the down and dirty. Okay, prices. Now, the setup that you are seeing all right here, okay, side note, he is coming out with, uh, or he has come out with a brass version of the stacked, uh, or the brass version, okay, and it, I believe that he, he also is going to be doing a dual 26650 brass, okay, um, I don't know if he's going to do a brass dripper or not, but the price. The mod itself is, I believe, I think JT told me right, was $345. Okay. I know. Calm down. Take a breath. Okay. The atomizer is, the dripper is $170. Okay. So I'll let you do the math there at how much money I'm holding right here. Okay. Um, the mod works excellently. Okay. It does exactly what it's supposed to do. Okay. Um, I 
would probably not be able to clock down $345 for it. Not to say that it's not worth it, because plenty of people have bought them, they absolutely love them, they function flawlessly and all that, and, and the simplicity and the way that it works, it, it, it works exactly like it's supposed to, every time. The button is great, the design is great, it's, it's very simple, you know. Um, I am more in love with the Addy, okay? I love the Dripper. Um, now, it's a little bit more affordable $170, but it is a little bit more affordable. Um, but like I said, you there's people that invest, you know, $150, $140, whatever, in an Addy um, that, that's something different or whatever. Now, does he reinvent the wheel with the Addy? Not exactly, but he pretty much takes uh, an eco tire that you would see on a Prius and he turns it into somewhat of a P0 tire that you'd see on a race car, okay? Um, it is very, very, very well manufactured. It is overly manuf It is overly done, um, which give makes it extremely solid, makes it perform very well, and you get a bunch of stuff with the Addy, okay? You get two different caps. You get the 510 adapter, you get the, all the peak insulation material in there, you get the other adapter for the top of this that will turn this into a regular 510 style uh, tip, uh, and then you get another cap, okay? So you get a lot with that dripper, okay? Um, so I would definitely, um, if I had the opportunity, jump on and get one of these drippers. Um, whether you see the value in it or not, Hey, that's up to you. I can tell you by using it, it is pretty damn fantastic. The whole setup is pretty damn fantastic. Um, the the reason to to spend the three hundred uh, plus dollars on the mod itself is to get that that hybrid ability with the the dripper itself. Okay, they complement each other perfectly. Um, and everybody knows when you you know you lessen the number of uh, obstacles between um, the battery voltage getting to the atomizer and you get lower voltage drops so you get overall better performance and which could tend to be I guess you could argue better battery life or whatever but um, that's kind of where that shines that you can hybrid this Addy to his mod now of course he would do that and they work really well let me get a little bit more vapor right quick Man, yeah, um, like I said, the I really like the mod, but the star of the show, I'm, I'm biased. I mean, I really like the dripper. Um, I love everything that you get with it. I love all the, you know, it's pretty much all thought out, okay? Um, you, you can use it on a regular mod because you have the 510 connection, okay? You've got the adapter for putting regular tips, uh, regular drip tips on it. You get two different styles caps, which can vary your airflow. You can dial it in pretty much however you want. Um, so you get a lot with the dripper, and that's where I see value and the way that it's made. Okay, it is fantastic. I have really, really enjoyed using this whole setup. Um, I think that you guys should get out there and really bug the hell out of Skotua and tell him, hey, you know, hey man. Don't just stop making it, okay? You know, keep making it. You know, that way some of y'all can get your hands on it. He's probably got some lying around. There was an interesting little story about this, the, how JT came across it. That's uh, probably private between... Now, nah, he didn't do anything, you know, illegal or anything like that. But he, uh, he really worked to get this mod uh, and everything. And he, he was on his toes and he, and he was able to get one. Uh, like I said, this is number 51. So, um, I have really enjoyed using this whole thing. I am very, very grateful to you, JT, for letting me borrow this device. Um, and uh, JT's a great guy. He's, he's a really nice guy. He's very knowledgeable. He really, really loves vaping. He loves uh, interesting and unique items. And uh, he, he appreciates quality and he appreciates... Uh, 
design and function and all that, and he has an affinity for authentics. Um, so I know that he loves this mod, and that's why I wanted to get the the uh, you know he loaned it, told me to do a review. I wanted to get the review done so that because uh, I know he's missing this thing, and I want to get it back to him and all that. But I really appreciate JT for letting me borrow this. I have thoroughly enjoyed using it. It's a great setup you got there, brother. And uh, I think any of you out there would equally enjoy loving using this mod if you ever got your hands on it. Okay, there, there's some uh, there's some substantialness here. Okay, I mean it's a damn it's a mag flashlight almost with a with a dripper on top. Okay, you can vape a mag flashlight, uh, and if you happen to be vaping and get in a scuffle, you could probably beat the hell out of somebody with this thing. Uh, anyway, get a little bit more vapor before we go. Oh man, yeah, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be tough giving this back to old JT, but uh, I gotta do it. You know, he uh, he jumped out and leap of faith and trusted me uh, to to take care of his baby here, and I have I've kept it all wrapped in bubble wrap just like you uh, asked me to and all that kind of stuff. He really loves this mod, so I will put links to Scotua in the description. You can go check him out. You can bug him, tell him, hey, make some more of those coppers, or when's that stack 26650 brass coming out, or whatever. And uh, you can take a look at the dripper and the 22 millimeter version. Okay? With that being said, thank you for joining me. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, I really appreciate all you that have subbed uh, to my channel out there in just the little over a month that I started doing these videos. Already got over 200 subscribers, and that's fantastic. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I very, very much appreciate it. Uh, and I hope I keep doing right by you, by giving you the truth, bringing you interesting stuff. So, I'm Vaping Vigilante. Thank you for joining me. And remember, vape it like you stole it. And I'll see you later.